friends i hope you all are fine uh, in today's video we will discuss some important questions regarding lecturer english linguistics portion uh, in part 2 uh, in part 2 there are two categories linguistics and literature in this video we will discuss some important linguistics mcqs तो चलें जी वीडियो स्टार्ट करते हैं वीडियो स्टार्ट करने से पहले चैनल को आप सब्सक्राइब कर लें टॉर्च बी इंस्टीट्यूट और बेल आइकन को प्रेस कर दें ताकि आपको नोटिफिकेशंस न्यू आने वाली वीडियोस के मिलते रहें तो पहला एम सी है जी अ फ्लड ऑफ फ्रेंच वर्ड्स केम इन टू इंग्लिश इन एट्स अ फ्लड ऑफ फ्रेंच वर्ड्स केम इन टू इंग्लिश इन एट्स मिडल पीरियड इन एट्स मिडल पीरियड Number two, according to Dash, we perceive the world as our language leads us to perceive it. Sepper Wolf hypothesis. Sepper Wolf hypothesis. Next question. The study of language in relation to society is called, the answer is, sociolinguistics. Sociolinguistics. Next question. English is derived from which major language? The answer is German. English is a Germanic language. It came from Germanic. Next question 5. Damage in vernax area of brain causes difficulty in speech comprehension. Speech comprehension. Next question number 6. Which of the following approaches deals with the set of grammar rules and focuses on the teaching of grammar rules? The answer is prescriptive approach. Prescriptive approach. Next question number seven. The morphemes which are independent to get meaning and they can stand by as single words are called free morphemes. In previous video, we have studied about bound morphemes now this is free morphemes next question number eight we can utter new and novel words and sentences but animal can't it describes which property productivity it describes productivity next question number nine <coughs> the originator of theory of structuralism is the originator of theory of structuralism is de Saussure. De Saussure. Next question is, when we speak two varieties of one language in a society, one is formal and the other is informal, it is called diglosia. It is called diglosia. Next question number 11, when a language developed for some practical purpose, goes beyond that purpose and becomes the first language of social community it is called creole it is called creole next question number 12 while speaking one language if we shift to another language it is called code switching code switching next question number 13 which of the following parts forms a crucial connection between Broca's area and Wernick's area? The answer is arcuate fasciculus. Next question. Words that cannot be interpreted at all without the physical context of the speaker are called Dixies. Dixies. Next question number 15. Mention the approach which discourages the too much focus on rules of language. According to it, how language is used is important rather than how language should be used. This approach is called descriptive approach. Next question number 16. If a language, if a long word is reduced to single syllable, and then Y or IE is added to end to make new words, for example, handkerchief to hanky and breakfast to brekkie, 
the process is called hypochorism hypochorism next question number 17 articles pronouns and prepositions cover functional morphemes functional morpheme next question number 18 the concept of language and parole is given by de Saussure. the concept of language and parole is given by de Saussure. next question number 19 a variety of language developed for some practical purpose among groups of people who don't know each other languages is called the answer is pigeon pigeon next question number 20 any additional information used by the listener to connect what is said to what must be meant is called the answer is inference inference thanks for watching for more informative videos subscribe this channel torch peer